YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another episode of What? what? In today's episode, we have a question from MH Brick Studios. MH Brick Studios asks, Is BrickLink expensive? Because I looked around and saw pieces $2 each. Some pieces are expensive and other pieces are really cheap. Basically, as a Lego piece or minifigure becomes more rare, the more expensive it will be. It might also depend on what you're looking for. What color the Lego piece is what condition the piece is in, and which stores you are shopping in. If you are looking for a Lego piece that only comes in one Lego set that is now retired, then that Lego piece will likely be very expensive. Plus, let's say that this piece's color is also rare, such as being sand red, or sand purple, or old gray, or old brown, or even chrome, then that piece would probably be even more expensive. Then let's say that this piece is brand new as opposed to being old and used with scuff marks on it. Then it will be even more expensive. And then let's say that the story that you are shopping in is in a country that is far away from where you live. Then the shipping will be high as well. If these factors were all relevant, then BrickLink would be very expensive for you. I tend to buy from Canadian BrickLink sellers because I'm from Canada. So it keeps the shipping costs low. When buying parts, I'm not too picky when it comes to new or used bricks because I've watched bricks before and they turned out fine. As for unique colors and parts, I don't normally go that route. So I don't really find BrickLink too expensive. It's actually a very reasonable avenue for me to get my bulk Lego. So my question to you guys is, do you think BrickLink is expensive? Comment below, let me know and please continue sending me Lego related questions. I love giving my thoughts. So this concludes another episode of What a What? This is the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye.